Hey friends, welcome back to story time. Now we're going to make our craft for the book that we just read. We want snow. Now normally when you get snow, you want to make a snowman. So that's what we're going to make today is a snowman. But sometimes it might be a little bit too cold to go outside or there's not enough snow outside to make a snowman. So we are going to make a marshmallow snowman. This can be done right inside where it's warm. Your snowman won't melt. And if you have clean marshmallows or marshmallows that you use at your house, while you're making this snowman out of marshmallows, you can eat some marshmallows, which is the best part. So, in order to get started with this snowman that we're gonna make today, all you need is a piece of construction paper. I chose blue so that the white would show up. And you just need to draw three circles or ever how many circles you want your snowman to have. I drew some arms, I drew some eyes, a nose, a mouth, some little buttons here. And I just used a black marker for that. You obviously can use any color that you want or Use whatever you want to make those things on your on your snowman. Then you're gonna need some glue. We're gonna put glue around each of the circles. That's what's gonna hold our, um, our marshmallows on. And then, this is optional. I wanted to make it look like there was snowflakes around my snowman. So I just got some white paint and I just used my finger and I just made little finger snowflakes all around my snowman okay now the most important thing that you need to make this snowman is your marshmallows okay so i just have a plate of marshmallows here the little ones are best since they'll go on there easier okay so i've already got my snowman started because it does take a few minutes to do this and i didn't want to keep you all very long so, I've already got my bottom circle and my second circle started. I've already got my fingerprints on there as my snowflakes, and I've already got my snowman Drew, and I named him Frosty, so I went ahead and just put that up at the top. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to fill in this last circle, okay? His head part. So, you're just going to take your glue, and you're going to trace all around that circle, you're gonna put a good little amount so that your marshmallows have something thick to stick to, okay? You're just gonna go all the way around that circle. Okay? And then it's gonna look like this. You're gonna have a thick white line of glue there. And then you're just gonna place your marshmallows all the way around it, okay? Before that glue dries, okay? And after you do this, it's gonna take just a few minutes for your marshmallows to dry to that glue. So after you get it done, you want to let it sit, okay? For just a couple of minutes. Maybe you can go outside and play or you can help take care of something. And then when you come back, your marshmallows will be dried to the glue and your snowman will be ready, okay? So we're just fixing to finish up our snowman here. We're almost done. And remember, like I said, one of the best things about this craft is you get to eat marshmallows while you're putting marshmallows on there. That's the best part. Okay, we got one more marshmallow to do. And we're gonna just squeeze him in right here. So we can have a big full snowman, okay? Now, make sure everything is on there good. All right, guys, here is Miss Brandy's finished Frosty the Snowman in marshmallow form. See him there, guys? And like I said before, one of the best things about this snowman, 
because he won't melt unless you put the marshmallows in some hot chocolate, which would be super good to drink while you're making this cold craft, okay? Also to add your marshmallows into. Guys, I hope you loved making this snowman craft out of marshmallows. And if you all decide to make one, I would love to see your snowman and see what you name him. So just take a picture of him and tag him to our Facebook. Thanks guys. Bye.